to that niche audience, would you agree that not only is the, the niching down of your projects a beneficial thing at selling at the AFM, but also for these companies and these streaming services like Cozy Flicks, is for example, or um, what's that? There's a faith-based one as well, something else Flicks. You know that they're they're literally like, I don't need to go after everybody. I'm just going to go after my niche audience. And that's important. If you compare it to the real estate industry, some people big build big mansions in Beverly Hills, right. and some build you know apartments and one bedroom condos. And but they when they start production, they start building. They understand the marketplace. They know how to reach the marketplace uh, before they start. What too often we find with the creative producer, they make what's in their head, and then afterwards say, "Now what do I do with it?" You mean most uh, film, you mean most filmmakers basically is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> And this is one of the things that differentiates the studios. The studios are distribution companies. They only produce so they can have something to distribute. Sort of like the oil companies. They're all refiners. If you said to Exxon Mobil that, that we'll give you a steady supply of crude from now till eternity, you don't have to explore, they'd be cheering. Great, we're just going to keep filling our refineries. The only reason they do that is so they can continue to refine and retail. If you said to Disney, we're just going to feed you you know, a Star Wars every month forever, they'd shut down production because it's all about it's all about the distribution. And so the independent and I'm exaggerating, of course, of but, course. but the ind- the independent producer frequently is focused on the production side. You know, there are two kinds for me. There are two kinds of companies, film companies. There are distributors there. Are, excuse me. There are companies that produce so they can continue to distribute and there are companies that distribute so they can continue to produce. And those that distribute only so that they can continue to produce are usually following the, the, the owner, the principal's vision of production. And in very few cases do they succeed long term. Um, most production companies just don't have a, 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 a long lifespan like the studios. And it's not because they aren't big. It's because their ultimate mission was still to produce. 